What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're just gonna be doing a good old fashioned everyday makeup routine. A few things have changed over the past few months, a few products have changed, so I thought we could just get ready together, make this look a whole lot better. So in today's video, I have teamed up with Iconic London once again for the lip portion of this video. And before I even get any comments or questions, everyday makeup routine, and I'm featuring a gloss, me. Like, matte lip Steph that bloody hates glosses. I've only gone and found a bloody gloss that I actually like. And like, I like it a lot. So a little bit of backstory about this. Iconic London basically got in contact with me a few weeks ago and asked me if I'd like to try out their new product, which obviously is a gloss. And I mean, you guys know, like, glosses and me, like, this is me. This is a gloss. We're kind of like, we're not overly compatible. We're not very good friends, generally speaking. But you guys know me, I'm fairly open to trying new things. And they said to me like, Steph, we really think you'll like this gloss. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a go. Might not necessarily do the collaboration, but we'll try it. And no word of a lie, embrace yourselves here. This is potentially one of the best glosses I think I've ever tried. Let that sink in for a minute. Like, I love this stuff. I've been wearing it. Most days, to be honest, even when I've not been wearing like a glossy lip, I'll put it on before my lipstick. It's so good. It's like a tingling, plumping kind of lip gloss. So I'm kind of using this as like my lip balm at the moment. Really digging it. So this is how the original PR package came that they sent me. Let's just put that guy back in there. As you can imagine, these two glosses here are like my faves. So the one that I use the most often is called Love Struck. And then the other one, which is like this nudie gloss, is called Nearly Nude. And this guy, some of you may recognize this guy because Ariana Grande actually used it in her Seven Rings music video. So, I mean, if it's good enough for Ariana Grande, I think it's safe to say it's good enough for me. So yeah, Iconic have just launched six shades of their lip plumping glosses. And when I say lip plumping, I mean like lip plumping. It says like on the little like press release, ready to kiss lip fillers goodbye. And I'm like, not yet. Like, we're still having a moment with the lip fillers, but these do plump up your lips quite a bit. Like, for a gloss, like, normally this kind of thing is just a bit of a gimmick for me, but this works. So yeah, like I said, I've recently just been using this as my lip balm, so what I will normally do, like, before I actually go in with makeup, is just take a lip scrub, just because I like my lips to be all nice and smooth. This one's just from um, Frank Body. Give a good old scrub. Look off the excess a little bit. Normally I'm in a rush to get ready, so I'm like, I'm not doing this stuff properly. And then I'll usually take this gloss, which like I said, is in the shade Love Struck. It's like the most kind of nudie one. And as you can see, it's not like too intense. It's super shiny, but I'll just kind of apply it to my lips randomly. Cause like I said, I am just kind of using this as a kind of plumping balm at the moment. They literally smell so good. It just smells like really minty and they're not too tingly either. Like I've had tingly lip glosses before that are just like almost painful. This just kind of feels a little bit cooling and yeah, just like a little bit tingly. So it's super comfortable to wear. And like not being funny, like it hasn't even really started to properly kick in yet with the tingling, but my bottom lip especially is already looking a little bit more like juicy. So yeah, recently I've actually just been doing that and using that as my lip balm to kind of make my lips look even fuller. So yeah, usually by the time I've gotten around to like doing my base, doing my brows, everything like that, I'll get to my lips and they are looking Super plump and super juicy. So that's like my first step. Oh, and before I forget, I do also have a discount code for Iconic London, which I believe gets you 20% off. I can't quite remember the code, so I will just put it on screen now and also in the description box down below, but make sure you check that out. Right, so once that's done, I'm gonna put on my little ears and then we're gonna move on to the base. So another new discovery that I literally, I found it like a few weeks ago, but I feel like the video is only gonna have gone up like a couple of days ago. This is a Flower Beauty Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir. Thought this was a gimmick, thought it was just gonna be like a serum, but I'm obsessed with this stuff. So if you haven't seen the video of me trying that out, I will leave a link to it down below. Not gonna lie, the, like, the little dropper's a little bit weird. The dro dropper's not ideal, I think, because the product is quite thick. But the product itself is so good, it's just like, kind of glowy skin oil and by the way i know i do get quite a lot of questions i always leave a link to them down below in the description um but obviously i wear contacts like pretty much whenever i have like a full face of makeup on and the contacts that i wear are the Solotica hydrocore ice ones um i always get questions about them so yes so then for foundation which is kind of like a new ish thing for me you guys know normally i will use either the Too faced born this way or milani two and one I've really, really been liking the Beauty Blender foundation. This one is in the shade 3.65. I think I picked up the wrong color. I think I'm normally like 3.5, but uh, okay, we'll, we'll try it. I'm just gonna apply that with a Morphe brush. 
Did I actually just find my like perfect foundation match without even trying? That's actually kind of my colour. I know it doesn't like match my face. I always get comments about that as well. I know it doesn't match my face, but we're talking like, I want to match my fake tan here. And that's actually a pretty good match. Like the only time I actually match the rest of my body is by accident. What does that say about me? I don't know, but that's a good colour. See, I'm just using the M439 brush. I just really like it for like applying foundation quickly. Normally if I'm doing an everyday makeup look, I'm kind of rushing around and I can't be bothered to spend too much time doing my makeup. I can generally do like a full face of makeup in like 10, 15 minutes. And this brush just like makes it super quick. So just kind of go over my lids. Then for concealer, a lot of you guys will recognize this. Old Habits Die Hard. It's been like my die hard concealer for, I want to say a couple of years now. It's It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I always apply this with my finger. Take about like, like a rice size amount. And I will pat that under my eye. It's very thick, very like oily feeling, but Oh my God, does this stuff like cover your dark circles? And to be honest, what I'll also do is if I have any other like spots that I wanna kind of get rid of, just so I'm not applying like a crazy amount of concealer over them, I will just kind of tap in the excess around areas where I've got like a little bit of redness or whatever. By the way, I should probably mention this beforehand. Um, this is my everyday makeup look. It's not like, I know it's a lot of makeup still for every day. I don't wear this every single day of my life. Like. Normally, I don't even wear makeup half the time. Like if I'm just going into town, I'll like just chuck a bit of concealer on. But that's a bit boring to do like an everyday makeup look of just me like wearing concealer and brows. So yeah, before I get any questions about, oh my God, she's piling on so much makeup. I am, but this is like my everyday glam kind of makeup, like my everyday filming makeup, or if I'm going out for dinner or something like that, I will chuck this on. So then I'm gonna go in with Another concealer, so this is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Nude. I go between the, the shade Nude and Light Beige. Light Beige is a little bit more like yellowy and a little bit darker, but right now I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I kind of want to highlight my under eyes and everything a bit more. So I'm just going to dot that everywhere, pretty much. You're probably all at home like, no, put the concealer down. And I'm just there like, ha ha ha. And then again, just take that Morphe brush and I basically just kind of like stamp it into my skin. I don't really buff too much. I'll just kind of just do, do those little tapping motions. So now for highlights, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Iconic London Drops in the shade Original. And just do a couple of little dots on there. Couple of little dots on there. And just like above my brow, nose, lip. I also like to kind of press it into my brow as well, just because I find it highlights my brow bone a bit more. Because obviously I'm going to fill in my brows in a minute. But if I kind of go over my brow now, it kind of highlights them a little bit more for me. All right, so we definitely need some powder up in here. So as expected, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier powder. I also really, really do love the Kat Von D powder. I have run out though. And make sure there's like no creasing under my eye. I just kind of tap that in with my finger. And just set that. Under eyes, bitch, what under eyes? I'm then gonna take this very grubby powder brush from Iconic and just set the rest of my face in place. Then full contour, this has literally never changed and probably never will change. It's my Too Faced, ugh, nearly dropped it on the floor. Too Faced chocolate powder. I love it, I love it so much. So I'm just applying that with an angle brush. I have literally used this bronzer for years. Not this exact one, but like this bronzer has just seen me through, <laughs> seen me through a lot of dark days. So then I'm also gonna take a fluffy brush and work that in my crease. Because to be honest, like with everyday makeup, I don't really use eyeshadows. Like sometimes I will, but generally if I'm just kind of going out and about and I just wanna chuck on something that looks nice, I will just literally use my chocolate bronzer in my crease and kind of leave it at that. And then also just work that on my lower lash line. And then if I fancy it as well, I don't always do this, but sometimes I will just give my nose a little contour, just a little bit underneath. Again, just using the same brush that I used on my eyes and just kind of go down the sides of my nose. I'm then gonna warm my face up a little bit with some bronzer, so I'm just using the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer. My Mac Give Me Sun is broken. I need to buy a new one because I just cannot seem to fix it. So this is like my new favorite at the moment. It's quite similar to be fair. 
it's just a bit more matte. I also don't really wear that much blush, like sometimes I'll add a little tiny bit. So normally I will just kind of go onto my cheeks as well. Just patting it in, I'm not really buffing or anything like that. I think because obviously I don't set my base too much, so I don't want to kind of really buff that around. I just kind of use patting motions and just seems to do the job. Then of course, Rodeo Drive. Gonna go over the top of that iconic London like liquid thing and just really intensify the crap out of that. Mm, nice. Literally, this highlighter, that's a lot on my cupid's bow. This highlighter with the iconic London one as a base, so good. And then I'll take a tiny little brush, a little dot right on the end of my nose, and then blend that in with my finger. Ding! Ooh, yeah, baby. Make that brow bone pop. And then always, if I don't do this, I kind of feel a little bit naked. I'll put that on the in a corner of my eye. Like, I just find it just makes me look so much more alive. Then gonna move on to mascara. A couple of faves I have at the moment is the NARS Climax and also the L'Oreal uh, Lash Paradise, which has been like an old favorite of mine. And I feel like I've got it somewhere around here. The L'Oreal, it's got like a bendy wand. Like you do that and it makes it bent. Can't remember what it's called, but I will leave a link to it down below. But yeah, I haven't used this in a few days, so I thought I would bring this back out. So basically I just kind of give my lashes a wiggle and just flick it out quickly. I find it just kind of coats the base of the lashes, but also makes like the end of my lashes look quite like thin and fluttery. So it makes my lashes look chunky, but without looking like spidery or anything. And sometimes I will just leave it on like my top lashes, but today it's a bottom lash kind of day. So that is pretty much my eyes done. Super simple, literally don't even use any kind of eyeshadow. Little bit of bronzer, little bit of highlighter, a lo lot of mascara, let's be real here. And that's it. All right, so now I'll move on to my lippies. So obviously feeling nice and hydrated after that gloss. So now I'm gonna move straight into lip liner, not gonna wipe off any of the foundation or anything like that. I like to keep it kind of very nude looking so I can overline my lips a little bit. So this liner here is from NYX and it is in the shade Los Angeles. So I like to kind of Overline my lips a little bit there. And a little bit there. So then over the top of that, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Nude Embrace Matte Lipstick. I uh, love this stuff. Again, I always get questions about what's on my lips when I wear this. So then, like I said, I have been using a gloss recently, so we're gonna bring these guys back in. So this one here is the one that I used earlier in the shade Love Struck. As you can see, it's kind of like a slightly more pinky tone. I think I'm gonna go for this one though, because I haven't used this one as much. It's in the shade Nearly Nude. So it's just like that. It's got like a little bit of color to it, not like crazy, crazy intense. So you could just wear it on its own as like a nice little tint. I think the main reason why I don't normally like glosses is because they feel so sticky and just look like kind of cheap looking. It's really like silky feeling. Does that make sense? Like it doesn't feel sticky and it feels like an oil, but like it has kind of grip to it. It's not like oily in a sense that when you put it on your lips, it just kind of disappears like an oil. It just has like all the positives of like it being an oil, like being nourishing, being comfortable, but it does stay on your lips for quite a long time. And it's like, if you're into glossy lips, it's just like super, like just shiny and wet looking. I love it. And it's now starting to tingle. And it makes me feel like I've just brushed my teeth as well because it is so minty. I feel like I've got a fresh breath. And then again, if I do want to kind of take down the shine a touch, I just kind of tap my foundation brush or my finger or like a soft matte lip cream or something onto my lips just to take that down ever so slightly if I do want it to look more of like a sheen as opposed to a gloss. And it just makes them look like just so juicy. We forgot brows. I, I've been looking at myself in the viewfinder like, you don't look like you normally do stuff. Like what have you missed out? Missed out brows. So for brows, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna take the Benefit uh, 24 hour brow setter, which is just like a clear brow gel. Literally, probably like the best clear brow gel I've come across. It just fixes my brows in place like nothing else. I've got to say though, like I don't love the spoolie thing that it comes with. I kind of wish it just had like a regular spoolie. So I'm just gonna actually take I'm actually gonna take a regular spoolie to be honest. And just do that. Yeah, I just kind of wish it like, ooh, I didn't expect that to fit right in there, but it did. Yeah, I'd, I'd much prefer it to have just like a regular spoolie. So then before my brows get like super rock hard, I'm gonna go in with Gimme Brow. This one is in the shade four. 
because I don't put too much like pencil or brow product or anything actually through the front. So doing this just kind of makes the front of my brows look a little bit more hair-like. I was like, what? Why do you look so weird, Steph? Like, what have you done differently? So now I'm just gonna fill in a few little sparse areas using the L'Oreal Paradise Brow Pomade in the shade, I have no idea. Yeah, I, I actually have no idea. I feel like it's like, oh, apparently it's ebony. I was gonna say it's dark brown, but it's 160 ebony. And I'm just gonna use the brush it comes with. Mine is drying out a little bit. I kind of need a new one. Yeah, I really like this brush. I don't know why, it just sort of gives me like, nice little hair strokes. Like the front of my brow a bit and brush that upwards. Let me know if you guys want like an updated brow routine or something, because again, I haven't done one in years, I don't think. So I can definitely do that, like a more in-depth brow routine video. Take off these bad boys. Try and sort out this mess on my head. And then another very kind of new little addition to my everyday makeup routine is Freck. I did a full video on this. I don't wanna talk about how expensive this is because it is a horrendous price, but I do love it. So this just creates like little fake freckles and I'm just gonna dot some of those all over my snoz. And it might not necessarily pick up too much on camera, but yeah, like I love this little thing. All right guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. Let me know if you prefer more of like a matte lip or a glossy lip. I just cannot get over how massive my lips are looking right now and I'm just, I'm just kind of obsessed. Like I said earlier, if you guys do want to try out the new Iconic London Plumping Lip Glosses or anything from their website, to be honest, I do have a discount code, which again, we'll put it on screen now and also in the description box down below. So that will last for seven days. So if you want it, make sure you're quick. But yes, that is my kind of everyday glam makeup look. I'm actually going to head out to McDonald's now. So this makeup is probably going to end up like all over my face with a little mixture of like barbecue sauce and God knows what else. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. Also, let me know if you do want that brow routine or whatever, because I can definitely do that. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys. I can't wait for my burger and I will see you in the next one. Bye.